Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here and today we're back to another video. In this video we're reviewing the Wii Xbox controller. The 360 controller. I got it in um pink. I've already used it for about a few hours now. So as you can see, this is not official Xbox. So the review pretty much it works, which is good. The D-pad. Let's just use turn up the video. Um, buttons work fine. Other than the D-pad, but I'll get to that later. Work fine, this works fine. It connects really easy, you just... It's a pretty... It's like the decently long cord, too. Plug in, press the button, it's on. Uh, really simple. The D-pad... The problem with the D-pad is... I'm obviously more of a modern person. It's like the PS5 or whatever, but... It's like it's loose. I don't... Like, I'm not even pressing down on a button. Whatever. But, like, if I if you try to go... Like, if you try to go really fast, like, a different direction, it doesn't register, you have to press it a few times. That's really the only problem I have with this controller. Let me just zoom out. Um, but other than that... It's pretty much okay. Like, if you... If you look really close, I, don't, I doubt that's going to focus on that one. That looks like my leg. <laughs> but it has, like, a very weird pattern to it. It kind of reminds me of the Xbox One controller casing, but it's obviously not. Um, the box is a bit weird. It comes with bubble wrap, a manual. Nobody needs a manual. You literally just plug it in. Um, but, yeah, it works fine. does everything like it should. And it's a pretty good controller. I got this one for like 20 bucks USD. I would say it's worth it. I'm not spending $40 on a wireless one. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this short review video. Peace out.